Should you trust the calories posted on your foods? It's complicated. As our grade school education taught us, food is energy. And like all energy, it must be converted from one form to another for it to be useful. In food's case, that's what your digestive system is built to do. Break down food to simpler molecules of sugar and amino acids that your cells love as much as a Tesla likes voltage. And like all things energy, scientists studied it, quantified it, delivered unto us the calorie count commandments, and potentially got much of it all wrong. Here's how the process works. A food calorie is actually a kilocalorie, the unit of measurement that equals the amount of energy needed to heat one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Wilbur Atwater, a 19th century chemist, developed a method of measuring the separate calorie counts in a gram of fat, protein, and carbohydrate. The method involves burning food to see how much heat it yields. Modern labs often freeze commercial food with liquid nitrogen, producing a powder they can then test this way. Despite the ensuing hundred years or so of scientific advancement, we still hold Wilbur's caloric calculations as our guide to what we choose or choose not to eat. But recently, nutrition scientists have become more vocal about its shortfalls. Take the cooking of food. Humans tend to cook their food. If one of our simian relatives feasted on a raw 8-ounce sweet potato, he would receive about 192 calories from his starchy repast. Human consumers of an 8-ounce yam that's been baked will take in about 208 calories with twice the sugar content. Cooking, as with other food preparations like grinding, curing, and fermenting, can break down the otherwise tough cells of meats, fruits, and vegetables, affecting their caloric counts. There's more. You may possess different gut bacteria than someone on another continent with a different diet. And even your own personal biological profile can contribute to how many calories you are actually consuming. All this inevitably leads to food labels that are not created equal. And because manufacturers are responsible for determining their own caloric counts, that's unlikely to change anytime soon. What can you do with this knowledge? Don't obsess about a few hundred calories here or there, for one thing. It's very possible your low-calorie diet is considerably higher than you think. San Andreas does piggyback on real-life fears. Are you hurt? And you won't find many people from the West Coast who aren't familiar with